I have been waiting for a beam for 20 minutes. Nobody wants to play with me. Am, am, I, am I really that bad? Uh, what? You know what? No, no. This is a positive video for once. We're talking good vibes here, nothing else. Hello, I think I discovered the best minigame in the existence of RuneScape and I can already read your mind thinking, hey, Travis, the defender role in Barbarian Assault is worse than North Korea. And you're right, but that is not why we're here tonight. Hold on a second. What a toxic person you are, Krippus. I, I know, I know, I know. I, I'm sorry. I am really, really sorry. As I was saying, the game is awesome. The people, the gameplay, love it. And there we go. The queen has been slain. And you can take that sentence however you want, depending on how dirty your mind is. And that is one out of four rolls done. Healing is up next. You see, when I was just a little baby creepus, I loved to watch these specific Minecraft videos where they had like zombies versus, well, the good guys. I promise you, this will all make sense. And you see, the good guys always had roles for each player. There was a cook who could fish, make potions. There was a smithing guy. There was these warriors that did similar things like we have slayer. Then we had like builders, construction, wood cutting, all of that. And at the end of it all, every role would come together, supply each other with armor, weapons, food, potions, you name it. And they would all face waves of bad guys, aka zombies. It was so, so good. Last week, I accidentally stumbled upon the idea again and lo and behold, how freaking awesome would it be if we had the same minigame in RuneScape? Okay, I'll paint the picture for you. Look at this. These are your teammates. Bear with me here. My people skills are about as useful as Diet Coke on a large meal, okay? Also, today is my birthday, by the way, and instead of being a functioning member of society, I am going to spend my entire day trying to explain something to you that will never happen. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Anyways, this is Willy. He likes to cook and make potions. We call him the weakest because, you know, he's a silly Willy. But he's useful. He's really useful. He makes sure the team is healthy and strong. Potions, food, boosts, enchantments, anything we need, he has our back. Everyone needs a Willy. My lady, that is two out of four now. I can feel the pressure. Defender role up next. Next up, we have Johnny. You see, Johnny is the opposite of Willy, but every Willy needs a Johnny. <laughs> uh, I made this entire video for just this one joke, by the way. Don't tell anyone. You see, Johnny is a melee brawler. His assignment is to tank and fight. Pretty easy. Then we have Paul. He's our builder slash woodcutter. And next up, we have Loser. He is anything but that. He does all our armor and weapons, aka the smithing guy. And to finish up the five man squad, we have a utility man that can fit every role but does it worse. We call him the Joker. Like me. Absolutely love him. Now we have our team assembled. This is how the game looks like. I say this again very seriously. Bear with me due to budget costs. We're, we're just gonna have to do with what we have, okay? This is killing our biggest fighters versus zombies. The zombie wars. As you can probably see in this video, coming up with names is not my strongest suit. But essentially what's gonna happen is your team spawns on one side of the map. The zombies are stuck for a certain period of time on the other side of the map. You are given certain time periods. The woodcutter goes to cut wood and build a fortress, build traps, anything that has to do with building. Willie and Johnny work together because there are some lost zombies out there that drop supplies. And this is the only place where you can fish for food. We have our mining spots here. You can make armor based on how good your mining and smithing level is. And after a certain period of time, aka when you're done with your supplies, all hell breaks loose when the zombies attack. Your entire five man team is covered with weapons, armor, food, potions, and it's your job to defend a zombie attack. Now, you might be wondering, this is the dumbest idea I've ever seen. Why did you waste almost five minutes of my time? 
And to that I say, if a tree falls down in the forest and no, you know what? Just watch the damn video, okay? Shut up. Back to barbarian assault. You see where I'm going with this, aren't you? But before we get to that, we're gonna have a little mini game of how much can Grievous suffer in one wave of this mini game, watching people who have never played this before trying to beat this. I love Barbarian Assault, I really do. Not once during this video I've gotten frustrated or badmouthed my teammates, but the point still stands though. This is the closest I'm ever gonna get to my dream game. I would go even as far as to say I would be best at Zombie Wars. And if you watched any of my videos before, you know I'm not at best at anything. Well, quite the opposite honestly. It doesn't even have to be zombies, it could be like, I don't know. Think of a fantasy monster, skeletons, beasts. I, I mean, if we really wanted a monster, we could put your mom on the other side of the map. <laughs> hey yo, I'm gonna high five myself now. How about this? Comment down below, what do you actually think about something like this? Like, no joke, do you think minigame like this could actually work in old school runescape? And you know, while you're down there, be a good viewer and give your content creators a like. It helps them a lot. And honestly, if your mom jokes aren't the best content out there, I, I don't know what is. So there we are. Let me finish up my final roll, I'll buy a silly hat from the reward store and we'll call it a day. By the way, shout out to these guys, just random people wanted to do Barbarian Assault with me. That is really cool. So yeah, I like Barbarian Assault. Everyone has their roles and you need teamwork to kill the boss. It is awesome. O okay, okay, let's be honest, this minigame is 20 years old. There could be a lot of improvements to make it better because it doesn't have any right to be this complicated as it is right now for a new player, but it has a great idea inside of it. And I think that's a good starting point. Also, I wish I could talk to you about the rewards for my new, amazing, totally unique, not ripped off mini game. But knowing me, I would way overthink this and go with some ridiculous rewards like piety and Paras claws for pures. Oh, wait. Okay, okay, let's finish this up. I know we're never gonna see this mini game, but you know what I have? Hope. Okay, okay, that's not much, but you take what you get, okay? Until then though, watching cute noobs miss 15 times on attack roll is the best I got. Wait, wait, let me get my torso from the bank as well and we'll do so-called symbolic ending. I'm gonna sit here with my new silly hat and a silly body armor and think about my new mini game. Thank you for coming to my own skip that talk. I'll see you guys in a few days, okay? Bye! Mwah.